Bible verses about change. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. James chapter 1, verse 17. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17.